Hi friends, I am Sujoy and I am back with a new series of tutorials for you. In this series of tutorials, I am telling you about curve fitting. In my previous video, I told you about the basics of curve fitting. And today I will tell you about curve fitting by the method of group averages. This is example number 1, where I am telling you how to fit a straight line in the form y is equals to ax plus b. Before we proceed, uh, let me tell you that you should watch my previous video before watching this video because if you do so, your concept will be crystal clear because I have explained the curve fitting from the very basic in my previous video. And in this video, I will tell you how to do the numerical calculation. And in my upcoming video, I will tell you how to do curve fitting in the form of y is equals to ax square plus bx plus c. That is how to fit a curve of a quadratic equation. Also in my next video, I will tell you about how to do curve fitting directly on Casio FX 901 ES calculator. So if you have that calculator, you must watch my next video also. So that was the introduction. Let's start today's video. So our question is to fit a straight line in the form of y is equals to ax plus b for the given data by the method of group averages. So let's proceed to the solution. Line to be fitted for the data is equals to y plus ax plus b which is given in the question and which is our equation number 1 where a and b are the constants needed to be calculated. So we will divide the given data in two groups. As the name suggests, we will divide the data in two groups, group A and group B. And we will find out the averages of them. So where the first group contains the first three numbers and second group contains the rest. Here we have six elements, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So we can easily divide the group in two parts. First contain first three elements and second contain sec rest of the three elements. But in case if we have a odd number of data set that is say five numbers in that case you can divide the groups where the first group will contain first three numbers and the next group will contain rest two numbers. So one note for you y is equals to ax plus b is also written as y is equals to a plus bx. This representation is followed by the Casio calculators. You will know more about this representation when you will watch my calculator tutorial. So let's divide the numbers in two groups where the group A will contain the first three values of x and their corresponding y values. So x values are 1 to 3 and corresponding y values are 2, 4, 7. And group B will contain the rest of the x values that is 4, 5 and 6 and corresponding y values 9, 12 and 14. So we have divided the numbers in two groups. Next we will find out averages of them. So for average first we have to add all the x values in group A. So sum up all x values in group A is equal to 6. That is 6 divided by the number of elements. So 3 elements are there. So 6 by 3 is equal to 2 which is x1 bar or x bar represents the mean of x values. x1 bar represents the mean of group A values. Similarly y1 bar is given by sum up all y values that is 13 divided by number of elements 3 that is equals to 4.3333 and in group B x2 bar is given by sum of all x values that is 15 divided by number of element 3. So 15 by 3 is equals to 5. And y2 bar is given by sum of all y values divided by number of element 3. So 35 by 3 is equals to 11.6666. I did not round it off the values 4.33 and 11.666. You can do if you want. So by substituting these averages in equation number 1, that is this equation, we have 2a plus b is equals to 
4.3333 that is our equation number 2 and 5a plus b is equals to 11.6666 that is our equation number 3 So by solving for A and B, we get A is equals to 2.4444 and B is equals to minus 0.5555. So we have got the values of A and B and now we can frame the equation. So the required line or the equation of the line is equals to Y equals to AX, A is 2.4444 into X plus b and b is minus 0.5555 so the equation of the line is equals to y equals to 2.4444x minus 0.5555 and if you couldn't understand the concept in this this video please watch my next video in that i will do another math by the method of group averages where i will tell you how to fit a curve in the form of y is equals to ax square plus bx plus c by following that video also, will make your concept clear about the method of group averages. So thanks for watching, see you in my next video and still then stay connected by subscribing.